I have with me Brad Lofton. Brad, first of all, what a wonderful day in Lawrence County. They keep coming and coming, man. I tell you, what I a, love you it. Know, keep it coming, brother. This is a great community to live in. <laughs> I'm telling you, good news everywhere we turn around. Mm -hmm. And I was looking at the post y'all made on Facebook yesterday. What a beautiful building. Yeah. You want to be here right next to Best Buy. This has become a logistics corridor with Fred's and 750,000 feet, Best Buy nearly a million feet, and one of the, the most recognized in, uh, industry in the world of what, for what they do will be right next door, a beautiful tilt wall, uh, heavily landscaped facility that I think everybody around here will be proud of. And I know we're going to talk about it in a minute when we get started, but tell us about how many jobs we can expect. Yeah, it's 110 jobs. I mean, that's a big shot in the arm for the community. Uh, and it's a $4 million investment. Uh, it's another Israeli, it's an Israeli company, so that makes uh, number six now from an international standpoint of companies, international companies we've located here. And uh, that's a big win. Now, this is a, uh, it's a phenomenon for Lawrence County, being able to recruit international companies, and this is a fine example of that. And you're doing a good job at the Dublin Development Authority, Lawrence County Development Authority. I was reading y'all's financial statement yeah. the other day. Uh, we're in good shape. Yeah. Uh, you're a good steward of the money. Thank you. And uh, and they sh it's really paid off. Tell us the last five years, how many jobs and uh, what we've gained in capital investment. Well, you put me on the spot, uh, but uh, you're right. I mean, I think if we're not good stewards, then we lose the trust of the taxpayer. And everything we've been able to accomplish in the last five years has been due to our SPLOSS referendum that passed by 93%. Mm -hmm. Thank you to the generosity of the taxpayer of Lawrence County. And it's paid dividends. Uh, we go through, you know, 525 from, from uh, Valmira, uh, 150 at Erdrick, 180 at Denex. Um, you know, you walk down the list, Aveba was a big announcement, uh, Farmers Furniture Expansion. So we've, you know, we had three or 4,000 jo job hole uh, about five years ago we had to climb out of when, when Mohawk and Case New Holland and J.P. Forsman, all those closed. But I tell you, I don't know of any community in the state climbing faster and farther out of that hole than we have. So we've come a long way. Let's talk about an economic uh, factor in our county. No, yeah. A lot of people don't talk about, and that is Southern Pines. Yeah. Uh, this past weekend, uh, as I walk through the parking lot out there and see tags from all over the yes, state sir. of Georgia, there's not a hotel room left. Absolutely. The restaurants are full, the gas stations. Yep. What a great economic factor that is in our community. You know, the cool, coolest thing is these people from out of town are spending money here and building our schools, yes. paving our roads, <laughs> funding our economic development. Yeah. You know, because we were 20 some percent of that last sales tax referendum. So mm -hmm. that's the cool thing. Yeah. Is, you know, they're, they're paying for all that. So mm -hmm. I think the sales tax here has been the best tax we could ever imagine because people from out of town are paying for it. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, but you're right, it's been a huge impact. Danny does a good job too. And take a moment, and I want you to brag on, because the development authority never want to be on camera hardly. They don't like to be in the forefront, but let's brag on them just a minute. Well, I get to feed my family doing this job, so I, this is what I do for a living. But I think all the credit goes to all the volunteers, those seven members of my board that uh, I promise you, they spend at least 10 to 15 hours a week. Uh, and that doesn't include all the board meetings and prospect visits, just working on issues we're dealing with, reviewing, uh, negotiating projects. Uh, and these are the who's who of this community. Great leadership. You've got Jimmy Allgood, who's the chairman of the Georgia Ports Authority, who's, who's on my board. Roger, who's uh, uh, well-connected in Atlanta, is on state boards, and everybody down the list has just been phenomenal. And I love working for them. They've, they've been great to work for. And we've talked off camera many times, but don't it make you feel good moving into our community? You're not from here, but moving in and seeing uh, how the teamwork and how people work together. The city council, I saw you talking to the county commissioners, yep. but everybody gets together when a project like this comes along, don't and, You know, I think sometimes it takes an outsider to remind the community how special it is, because mm -hmm. I've been in places uh, like Myrtle Beach and Val Austin, and, and those are all great communities, but I've never seen the amount of, of, of coordination here. Uh, and it's not just words. I mean, right behind us, I know you can't pan to it, is a 80,000 square foot building pad that the county built on behalf of our prospect that helped us win the deal. City of Dublin's running utilities to the project. So not just uh, rhetoric, but, but putting their money where their mouth is. And it's just unbelievable. Well, on behalf of the TV station and the community, Brad, thank you for what you do for My, our community. Thank you for being here, man. Thank you, Appreciate you. We are believers. Trust is earned in the field. Where a full day's work will always tell the truth. We believe in what we do and what we have done. Who are we? Number one in subcompact tractors. Number one in compact excavators. And number one in diesel engines. We are Kubota. Freeman's Lawn and Garden. 
Call us at 272-2198. Brad wanted to do this at 3 o'clock this afternoon. He thought the temperature would be just about right, and uh, we're, we're thankful we did it at 9. Well, good morning. It's another wonderful day to do business in the business heart of Georgia, right here in Dublin, Lawrence County. Do you agree? Yeah. And we want to welcome our sixth international company and our newest neighbor and friend, Polymer Logistics. Let's give them all a round of applause. This is going to be a wonderful day. It's uh, 110 new jobs eventually when they get their building out here. 110 new jobs for our community. Uh, a little over $4 million investment in our community. And uh, it's our first Israeli company. And we're just elated to have them in Dublin and Lawrence County. <laughs> Let me introduce some people to you that uh, are important to all of us in this. And first of all, I want to ask all the Dublin Lawrence Development Authority members to stand. Th these are the people behind the scenes and in front of the scenes that get these deals done. And it's my colleagues on Development Authority. If you guys would stand, these guys put in a lot of work. And so does Brad and Beth and Beatrice. And let's give them a round of applause. Okay, let me introduce some of our uh, federal and state officials and local officials, and, and we'll do that. All of these people, I, we're going to do this kind of rapidly because it is warm, and, and we want to hear from our company officials all about what their company is going to do here. But these people are important to us. They, they, they make things happen behind the scenes to make these projects work. Uh, first off is uh, Congressman Rick Allensfield, Representative Cam Shepard. Cam, are you here? Wave to us. So you, there's Cam. Senator Johnny Isaacson's field rep, Andrew Ross. I talked to him earlier. Andrew, glad to have you. Uh, a guy that's always busy with us is State Representative Matt Hatchett. Matt, thank you. Uh, some uh, Two groups we cannot do without at all in this. And one of them is the Dublin City Council, Mayor Phil Best and City Manager Lance Jones. Appreciate you and the Lawrence County Board of Commissioners and Brian Rogers. My goodness, we couldn't do it without you guys either. So, uh, Any members of the Dublin City Schools Board of Education uh, here this morning? Uh, Lawrence County School uh, Board of Education. Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors, important to this community and making all this work too. We appreciate all that you do. And the guys at the bottom of the list, he might should have been at the top of the list, but Wayne Christian, who is a board member of the Georgia Department of Economic Development. And Wayne, we always pre appreciate you and what the uh, economic development folks do for our community. Thank you. I would like to introduce now, he doesn't need a lot of introduction uh, for you. Uh, if you need some private stories, see me later, but uh, as our mayor feel best. <laughs> and Phil, we'd like for you to say a few words on behalf of the city for our project. On a day like today, it's a good time to remember what our past uh, Development Authority Chair, Fred Williams, said, and that's remember the five B's. Be brief, brother, be brief. <laughs> it's too hot out here for long speeches, guys. Now I'll go over it. <laughs> On behalf of the citizens of Dublin, uh, Jerry Davis, our Mayor Pro Tem, there Jerry, and our other city council members, I think it, they're here. Lance Jones, our city manager, we'd like to just say thank you and welcome to Dublin, Lawrence County. We don't take your multi-million dollar investment in creating jobs for our citizens lightly. We are grateful for them and appreciate what you've done. Uh, your company, as Roger said, marks the sixth international company to locate in Dublin, Lawrence County. I think we would be remiss if we didn't take a minute to thank Brad Lofton and his team for the great job they do. <laughs> Going forward, know that Dublin and Lawrence County support the Dublin Lawrence County Development Authority. We're their partners and we hope to be your partners. And if you can if you need us for anything, just please let us know. 
Thank you. Uh, at this time, I'd like to introduce a great friend of mine, and, and I got some private stories on him, too, I'll get with y'all later on. <laughs> County Commission Chair Emory Lake. I want to thank everybody who came today. Your support is always so important to this community. Thank you. And then second, I want to say on behalf of the county commissioners, thank you for the support that you have given us on this. And then at last, the group from Paul Me, I want to say thank you too, because it means a lot to us. Let me back up one second just a little bit and discuss something with you behind the scenes a little bit that a lot of times you probably don't know. The development of authority is a big part of getting all these industries. In 24 years as a commissioner, I have been involved in a lot of industries, and it means a lot. But it's like a fishing trip. These guys have people that come in, they talk to them, and you see some that comes in and they nibble, they nibble, they nibble on the court, and they're gone. We never see them again. Then you've got a group that might come in, and, and it's like the big fish, he'll hit it, grab it, go, and we got them. And then you got these that come in and they'll nibble and bite and nibble and bite. And sometimes we bring them in and sometimes we lose them. Thank goodness this one we didn't lose. It means a lot to us in this. And this, this polymer fits the bill for what we really need. It's going to be an industry that is really something that's going to help us in a way that most people might not understand yet, but they will. And the other thing is, too, when uh, my son-in-law called me and he says, have you gone in the website and looked at this company? And I said, no, I haven't. He started spilling out all the things that this company does. And let me tell you, I got excited. I couldn't believe it. I, I, I couldn't believe the management of this company must be great. I'm telling you. With the products they put out, the pallets, the products that uh, the crates that uh, made of plastic that looked like wood that people so much like in Walmart and in areas like this is an outstanding thing. But the logistics of going in and going out and how they track this product and they bring this product in and out is phenomenal. And, and we are so lucky to have these people. And I want to tell you, I want to say to you today, thank you for coming to us and we hope that you'll be as proud of being here as we are of having you. Mr. Chairman, thank you for your comments, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I'll, I'll echo, we appreciate you all being here today. It means a lot to us, great turnout. Uh, I could speak for an hour about how much fun we've had over the last 18 months uh, hanging out with Danny and his team. And, and Danny's not on the agenda today, but he's become family and he's a personal friend. In fact, if you see a four-year-old running around with a polymer logistics hat in the back, that's my son. The hat was given to me by Danny. Uh, so he's the youngest one here today, but uh, he's trying to learn to be an economic developer. Uh, so we're just thrilled to have you guys out here and uh, this show of support. We could have had 5,000 people here. This was an invite only, uh, but uh, we could have had this whole community out to support you because this means that much to us. So uh, I want to thank you, Danny, for all your hard work and for committing to this community and for Fred for making this decision. Uh, but my, my role quickly is to, uh, to introduce a, a, another VIP that's here today. Uh, and, you know, Georgia is ranked number one in the, in the country uh, several consecutive years in a row as a place to do business by, by Site Selection Magazine, by CNBC, you name it. Georgia's been ranked number one in the country, and that doesn't happen by accident. We've got a group of leadership out of Atlanta that's with the Georgia Department of Economic Development that, uh, that does a phenomenal job uh, recruiting companies with helping existing industries grow and expand, uh, and we're proud to have one of their representatives here today. Uh, and I can tell you, there's 159 counties in Georgia. Dublin Lawrence County gets more than our share of prospects and of support from the state. Uh, and so I want you all to help me welcome just a minute, uh, my friend, Mr. Lindsey Martin, who's the Georgia Department of Economic Development Director of Existing Industry and Regional Recruitment. Thanks, Brad, uh, for that kind introduction. And now I understand why you asked me to sit on the front row. I'm the only one without a green jacket. <laughs> so, I thought there was a bunch of master's winners here. When I showed up. But uh, on behalf of the governor and Governor Deal and Commissioner Carr, I'd like to congratulate you on this, on this achievement here. Uh, we're going to hear a lot about stats and figures and distances from the port and things that this project will mean to Georgia, but there's one number that has been mentioned here that is most paramount. That's the 110 jobs that will be created out on that site. And beyond that, there are three things that are rarely ever mentioned at a groundbreaking. 
and I thought about this on the way down. I said, there's bicycles, pizza, and movie tickets. How many of y'all have ever purchased one or all of those things? That's what that means out there. There are 110 paychecks that are going to come off of that site and is going to fund those types of activities for Dublin County or uh, Lawrence County and Dublin, City of Dublin residents. So I just want to say thank you so much for what you're doing, and we thank you for this investment. I'm Dale Nifong, your State Farm agent on Hillcrest. We're celebrating 14 years of service to the Dublin, Lawrence County communities. Please call us, text us, or even email us to find out what makes us different and how we can help you. We're located on Hillcrest between Dublin High School and Kroger. Well, we're going to move into the real interesting parts here now. You get to hear a lot about this company, uh, Polar Logistics, and uh, know why we're all excited about them coming to Dublin, Lawrence County. I want to introduce to you now the CEO of North American Business for Polymer Logistics, uh, Fred Heptonstall. And, and I got to know Fred over dinner last night, and uh, it was obvious to me that he's innovative and he's creative and he's got a wealth of uh, international executive experience in the packaging and fresh food industries. Um, he's held executive positions and been an industry leader with Chiquita Brands International, Mars Incorporated, all names, household names I know that most of you know. Uh, he currently serves on the board of directors for United Fresh Produce Association and previously served as chairman of the Reusable Packaging Association. Fred, welcome to our community, and we look forward to hearing some remarks from you. Thank you, uh, and on behalf of Polymer Logistics, I want to uh, especially thank the, uh, the community of Dublin, Georgia, for uh, the gracious hospitality and uh, the welcoming arms we've had. Um, I, I heard about, you know, want to be brief, um, so I could take a lot of time myself, uh, 45 minutes to an hour, and I, I think I, I'll, I'll get started. But no, um, it, it's a great opportunity for us. And just a little bit about polymer. You see the, the, the crates that, that we have on display here. Uh, it, it's about, we're about moving fresh products, meat, eggs, produce, eventually dairy. Uh, we'll be starting with produce crates here. And I heard a lot, of, a lot of things about what it's going to mean, bring to Dublin, what it's going to bring to the state of Georgia, but there's one thing that was left off. We are also going to be shipping, and are starting to ship now, uh, great products that are grown here in Georgia. Everything from peaches, sweet corn, to vegetable, to, to Walmart, Kroger, and some of the other retailers. And one of the advantages that the retailers have shipping in the reusable plastic containers is it's a lower cost system for them, it's a lower environmental impact, and it protects the quality of the great produce. So that's why you see uh, this movement by the retailers in North America, Walmart, uh, uh, Kroger, and the list goes on. So it's a great place to be. And as we, uh, and I could go on talking about it, but it's simply uh, uh, using these crates uh, to move the produce, move the products that we're going to move, and they're reusable. It's a very responsible use of a limited resource. Uh, those crates, uh, if one breaks or we have a new design, we just take the old material and mold it into a new one. So it's, uh, it's just a great deal. Uh, we're going to sanitize, wash the crates here at this facility. We'll be distributing from here, we'll be receiving here, and we'll be servicing, uh, uh, continuing to service the customers in North, in North America. Uh, in, in, we, we talk about 110 employees. We talk about almost an 80,000 square foot facility. Uh, what, uh, that's the starting point. And uh, to plagiarize uh, a popular movie, uh, and to quote Al Pacino, uh, we're just getting started. So that's the starting point. Uh, our, our commitment is that we, uh, what you see now is the start. Uh, I've already asked in the questions, what's our expansion capability? What can we bring uh, in terms of uh, additional resources and, and bring more to the community? So uh, it's a big investment for us. Uh, 
Polymer is an Israeli-based company. Uh, our, our business is going to be based here in North America, everything we do, all the financing and, and all the employment. Uh, so we, uh, we're just very, very uh, excited about this opportunity and really looking forward to uh, getting this moving forward. So you heard all the quotes. Uh, I only have another 45 minutes here. I want to go through. <laughs> And believe me, somebody that were around last night when we were talking, we got, once you get me started, it's, uh, it's, it's not a good thing. Uh, but I do want to recognize uh, some of the Polymer team that have been working on this diligently. Uh, we have Danny here, uh, Bartol, he's the C Chief Operating Officer for Polymer Logistics uh, North America. Uh, we have Louita, who has been here working closely. I call Louita the money bags, um, and she's the one that takes care of us there. We have Arnold. Lopez, who is uh, the project manager that's been spending a lot of time here and spending his time between here and Indiana. So a uh, round of applause for that, that team. We couldn't, we couldn't do it and, I, and I would be remiss in not recognizing some of the people here in Dublin in the state of Georgia. So bear with me uh, with some of these. And I have to, I want to make sure I read these names because my last name is Heptonstall and only about one out of ten people pronounce it right the first time. So. I've gotten used to that. Uh, Chair Chairman Roger Folsom, Brad Lofton, and the rest of the Dublin Lawrence County development have been a great supporter since the beginning of this project. So a round of applause for them. <laughs> I want to thank uh, Emory Lake, Brian Rogers, the great folks at the Lawrence County Commission, uh, the built the building pad, and Mayor Phil Best, uh, the, we, which we heard from earlier, the City of Dublin arranged for the extensive utilities in the site. We want to thank you a lot for, for that participation. Again, we've, we've done projects in a lot of different places. The, the state of Georgia, and now we're finding Dublin, uh, we're just really excited about and excited about that f f uh, future. I want to also thank uh, uh, the partners in this development, uh, Todd uh, Peepool. Did I get that right, Todd? You got it. First okay. Uh, Chad Chancellor and Alex Metzger. And then, uh, finally, before I get on to the next 45 minutes, uh, I want to thank Wilkes Evans and Dublin Construction for clearing this area this morning and helping us get this fine event started. So, I have just, just one question. Um, raise your right hand if you want me to go 45 minutes or if you want me to say thank you and see you later. <laughs> I see a lot of left hands. Thank you very much and we'll uh, be around for some discussion later. Thank you, Fred. We didn't tell you last night you could talk as long as you wanted to. Just not might not be anybody here to listen to you, but you could talk as long as you wanted to. I want to introduce to you now uh, Chad Chancellor. And uh, Chad's becoming one of our new best friends because he's a site selector and uh, does, a, does a great job. But Chad Chancellor founded the Next uh, Move Group because of his passion for creating jobs. He's a bulldog even though he went to Mississippi State University. <laughs> Has a degree in human resources and put a 10-year plan in place to pave the road for building his dream. Chad, we welcome you to Dublin and we appreciate you. you choosing this site for it. Thank you. Well, how can y'all boo Mississippi State? We beat you like once in 40 years. <laughs> And now I live in New Orleans, so this is a cool day to us. So I want to thank you all for the weather. Um, I want to just start by thanking Brad Lofton. Uh, we do this all over the country. In the last year, we've probably looked at sites in 40 different states for various clients. And as far as we're concerned, Brad's the best economic developer around. We look forward to... We look forward to bringing other potential projects to you. I will tell a quick story. It was either the week before Thanksgiving or after. I can't remember. I wish I'd have looked this morning. But uh, Brad canceled a family vacation, or at least he canceled part of it, to fly out to L.A. to meet with Danny and the team. We had a pressing issue at that time. Here we are now in July, what, seven, eight months later. Well, that shows you how long it takes for these things to come together. I think Brad sent his family, flew to L.A., and then met them. And then we actually were introduced to this community by a project uh, that looked here that did not come here. So I would just tell you, your aggression in pursuing even the fish that, that don't get on the hook uh, you know, certainly uh, pleases folks like us because as we see that, we think of other opportunities, get to know the community, and come here. I also want to thank Danny Bartal. Danny, stand. I want you to stand and wave to everybody. They've heard him say, Danny, I may not know who you are. Hey. 
there is no telling the hours Danny has spent on this project. Uh, I think this thing started last February, March in St. Louis, in our St. Louis office. And, uh, and we've talked to him in the middle of the night. We've talked to him early in the morning. There's just literally no telling. Also, my business partner, Alex Metzger, kind of ran this project for us out of St. Louis. Alex owns a huge part of our company, and, uh, and for whatever reason, me being in New Orleans, I'm the Southern guy, but he ended up coming to Dublin like five times to my one, so I want to thank him for that as well. Also, your officials were very pro-business uh, in every meeting we had. You just wouldn't believe some of the towns we go to that, that it seems that the city and the county don't get along, or we're going to have a problem with this permit or that permit. That was not the case here. Uh, and we want to thank you for that. That shows very well. So thank you all. We're pleased to be here, and we wish everybody great luck with this project. If you want a paint that's more than just easy to scrub, if you want a paint that actually repels dirt and grime, if you want a paint that stands up to life's wear and tear, only this can. Regal Select from Benjamin Moore. Paint like no other. Available at Four Seasons Paint and Floor Covering. I think you can see that we've had a great team to work with here, and uh, we, we're excited about all these folks that some of you are meeting for the first time. Uh, next gentleman I want to introduce to you. Uh, one, of the, one of the interesting things now, uh, Todd People, who is the... Uh, developer of the building and all for uh, Polymer Logistics. But he, he's advised both uh, President George W. Bush and President Obama during his two-term appointment for the Federal Advisory Committee on Juvenile Justice. And a man can, can advise both of those two individuals. Uh, is quite, quite a fellow and we're, we're happy to, <laughs> to get to know him. That, that's uh, st stretching it a bit, a bit there. He was also the Republican nominee for the Kentucky Attorney General post in 2011, but he's an attorney and an entrepreneur, a diverse portfolio of experience and holdings. He served eight years as an elected prosecutor with a 96% conviction rate. I wouldn't advise you doing much wrong around him. <laughs> and today he serves as the CEO of Star Industries, which provides contract labor for mining, industrial, and agriculture clients in five states. But the, the main deal for him today is that uh, Todd People is the uh, developer in, uh, of, of this building for Polymer Logistics. And Todd, we appreciate you. And yeah, my last name is P. Pool. Can you believe that? P apostrophe Pool. It's like O'Brien, but it's P. Pool. I have three daughters and a wife, so I live with four women and 500 pairs of shoes. And. Uh, Hopefully my daughters will marry a, you know, an easy name like Lofton or Jones or something like that. But it's a Scotch-Irish name. And uh, to be in Dublin, is, it's, it's really exciting for me. I live in Kentucky, and in my home county, well, right next to my county was the birthplace of Jefferson Davis. And then two counties over was the birthplace of Abraham Lincoln. And I came to Dublin and learned that this was Jefferson Davis's last stop. After he lost the war, he got captured. So maybe I won't have the same ending, but um, I'm, I'm happy to be in Lawrence County, Georgia. It's a fantastic place. And I, I was studying your history. And of course, we know Martin Luther King got his start here. Great place to invest. Andrew Carnegie invested in Lawrence County. We see the Best Buy invested uh, in Lawrence County. And then uh, First National Bank building, that's a phenomenal investment there. So I can't tell you how excited I am to be uh, part of uh, Dublin, Georgia, Lawrence County, and making an investment here that we believe will be here for generations to come. Uh, the jobs are very important. Um, it's gonna be a, a fantastic day when we open that facility and those jobs are at full capacity. And I, I echo uh, Chad Chancellor's comments about a pro-business community. You folks have been over backwards. The hospitality has been out outstanding. I, I wanna say a special thank you to Brian Rogers uh, who did, I understand, did the pad work. He and um, Josh Christian, uh, the civil engineer, you guys, this would happen before you had a signed deal. They were out here moving dirt, they were working, they were stepping out on faith and casting the bread on the water and it, and it came to pass. And I just want to say thank you to those gentlemen, uh, Michael Clay, and I know Fred uh, thanked a lot of people. Uh, Keith Dixon, 
workforce investment and opportunity administrator. Um, that's, a, that's a very important role. We want to thank Keith for that work. Uh, Representative Hatchett, I got to meet him last night. He gave a three-word speech. I thought, that's a man who's going to get reelected. You know, <laughs> the five Bs, you know, be brief. So uh, ab absolutely appreciate his friendship. Heath Taylor with the chamber and all any school board members here, we want to just say thank you. Obviously, education and uh, success go hand in hand in, in our business. Uh, I can't tell you how excited I am to be partners with Polymer Logistics. I got to meet Polymer this year and had the opportunity to invest. And when you, when you have the opportunity to partner with the, uh, Israel, you should do it. It's been a fantastic experience. These folks, every, every student in Israel has to serve two years in the military. Every male has to serve at least three years. Danny Bartal served seven or eight years. Seven years. He's a tough guy. He was, a, he was on the front lines of, of uh, the Israeli army. So he's a nice guy, but he's a tough guy. So when you see him walk around uh, the city of Dublin, you can say, hey, that's my friend Danny. He was with the Israeli army, and he's my friend. So uh, good, good, good job, Dublin, for partnering with Polymer Logistics. You've heard from Mr. Fred Heppenstahl, uh, uh, just a powerhouse in the industry, uh, has done work all over the world. So Dublin is going to be in a very exciting position. Uh, these crates that are, that are touched here will go all over the world eventually. So congratulations to Dublin. Thank you for the very kind hospitality and I look forward to bringing my family back and having I guess a Dino's pizza and um, is that right Dino's? Yeah Dino's pizza and I haven't had a chance to eat at all your restaurants yet but that's on my list. And I want to say one thing about Brad Lofton Lots of work goes into these things, and I called Brad one day, and um, he took the call. And I always cell phones, you know, they're horrible things. I don't know if they're a blessing or a curse because you catch people in the, in the middle of a meeting. And I said, I said, Brad, are you uh, are you busy? And he said, Well, I want to take your call. And I said, Well, is this a good time to talk? He said, Well, I'm rolling my wife uh, into labor right now. <laughs> And I, I said, Brad, hang the phone up, you know? I mean, I can't believe you took this call. But he took the call while, he, while he's rolling his wife back. So I don't know if he got in trouble for that or not or if she's here. But, uh, you know, God bless her for being married to a guy that answers his phone. But I, I, don't, know, uh, I don't know of a guy that would work any harder uh, for, you, for your community than, than Brad Lofton. Um, and not only did he uh, make this project happen with Polymer locating here, he went one step further and said, hey, Todd, we'd like for you to do as much business with our people as you can. And then uh, we got to meet the fine folks at Dublin Construction Company. And they uh, have been very professional, very kind, and they just work right in tandem with, uh, with Brad and, and, and Beth and, and Beatrice, they, the whole team there. And then uh, they're introducing us to local banks and local vendors. So he hasn't just stopped with, with getting polymer here. He's pushing for the whole community, uh, contractors and vendors and restaurants. So uh, you really have a special place here. Uh, God bless you. And uh, God bless Dublin. God bless Polymer Logistics in the future. I've been working with William Key. I haven't met. I met uh, Mr. Hall yesterday and lots of the folks at Dublin Construction, but Wilkes, I think it's your time at the podium. So you all, you, he's local boy, right? Born and raised. So I can't tell him anything you don't know. <laughs> well, thank you. I get the honor of speaking last, which means everybody's ready to get going. It's been hot out here. I know when Mr. Folsom said 110, I wasn't sure if he's going to say jobs or the temperature. So I'll be brief and I'll be quick. <laughs> But uh, overall, um, the last other part about speaking last is everybody's been thanked to death, but somebody that deserves it one more time is Brad Lofton and his team. They worked hard. Beatrice has been out here in the heat trying to get this event together, so their whole team has worked hard. Uh, somebody else that really hasn't been thanked is the whole community as a whole. Uh, we all work together to put a, to put a face on and, and to come together to make sure that these businesses see what we're all about. So I think the community as a whole owes, owes itself Hey, a round of applause for, for your hard work to, to make Dublin a good place to do business and a great place to raise a family and a great place for somebody to come and open a new industry such as this. Um, the project itself, uh, Commissioner Lake mentioned a little bit about it, but it's something to be proud of. It, it's really, 
it's a unique business and I sat with Fred last night and he said that you know he, he may have bored somebody but I was fascinated it's an environmentally responsible product it saves waste from the packaging that could be if you if you go to the grocery store and see cardboard that goes away with this product it also reduces the amount of waste you have from food spoiling. So it's environmentally responsible. It's exciting from a logistical standpoint. We started talking about transportation last night and having these containers, wherever, whatever crop is being harvested, they've got to have the amount of containers there they need. So it's an exciting project for our community. Um, then lastly, uh, thanking our team, William and Jimmy and Juan for their hard work on this whole project and pulling everything together. And, uh, and I want to thank Polymer for trusting Dublin Construction. You've chosen a local contractor. And that's important because it means that not only you, you see the $4 million investment in the press release, but that means we're going to ensure those dollars are going to stay local. We have a large workforce at Dublin Construction. They're going to be working here on this project, local subcontractors. So those dollars are going to stay local. So thank you for trusting us and uh, to be your contractor, your partner. And we hope to continue to be so in the future. When my husband experienced chest pain, I knew he had to go to the ER at Fairview Park Hospital because it had an accredited chest pain center. Chest pain isn't like a broken arm or a high fever. They treat chest pain like the serious condition it is, and they treat it fast. And it was a good thing we knew the difference because my husband was in cardiac arrest. Oh, I was fine. Now he is. Treat chest pain like chest pain. Choose the ER at Fairview Park Hospital. Spence Mullis, tell me what a great day this is in Dublin. Oh, it's, it's a beautiful day. I know this has been a very long, long process, a very long-term project. Uh, Brad and the Development Authority have done a wonderful job. Anytime you can see fresh dirt move uh, in, our, in our county, uh, it's a great day. You know, what, what we look forward to is, once again, uh, a more international company, seeing what all Dublin has to offer, and uh, and really hearing good stories from the companies that are already here is really what kind of drove this company to us. And you know, every new industry comes into town, as I talk to them, downtown always comes up, what a beautiful downtown, there's so much to do, uh, and our downtown's getting back to when we were growing up here, you know, right, everybody right. comes downtown, but y'all played a big role in that. How does that make you feel? Oh, I mean, it's fantastic. You know, in the old days when we brought prospects to Lawrence County, you would purposely not go downtown. <laughs> now, that's the first place we take them. And, uh, you know, it, it's taken a while for folks in the community to buy in, but the last seven or eight years have been phenomenal. Uh, you know, every town in Georgia holds itself out to be a great place to live, work, and raise a family. But what is that extra that puts you over the top to get these industries to come here? We feel like it's our downtown area. We, we, we provide them with a very unique set of buildings, restaurants, opportunity to live downtown. And these international companies see that and they go, okay, well, this, this is a little different than the average small Georgia town. So we feel like we've played a huge part and uh, we're just excited. And I asked Brad this question, but Southern Pines is overlooked by so many people. What a great economic engine that is, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. It's huge. Uh, there was a huge ball tournament out there this weekend, as yeah. a matter of fact. All the hotels were full. And to kind of parlay that into what it means for us from an economy standpoint, that hotel motel tax revenue that's generated out there, it gets filtered through several organizations, one being the Downtown Development Authority. Those funds on that tax we collect out there go to help us do projects downtown. So it all works together, but Southern Pines is a great resource for us. Thank you, Spence. I have with me Brian Rogers. Brian. What a great day in Lawrence County. It's an excellent day. It's another uh, product of the hard work that our community is doing to try to bring in more jobs for Lawrence County. And I know you've been with us a long time uh, leading the Lawrence County Commission, Lawrence County, but it seems like every time we get a project like this, everybody seems to work together. City Council, Lawrence County Commissioners, Development Authority, Downtown Development Authority, but it takes everybody to pull this off, don't it? Yes, it's, uh, that's the reason we're getting the industry, because everybody does work together. Trust me, it's not like this in every community. Uh, we're fortunate, we're blessed, everybody gets it that it's not about uh, each individual entity, it's about our community as a whole. And uh, we come together and make it happen. And uh, this is another result of, of just that type of an effort. And another foresight, I've asked Brad about it, asked Spence about it, but uh, Southern Pines is a great economic engine. It pulls yes. a lot of people from out of town. This past weekend, the tournament, uh, people from all over the state of Georgia and the Southeast, but uh, there was a lot of foresight from people years ago 
to put Southern Pines out there, and now it's paying dividends in it. Oh, yes, big time. As a matter of fact, the, um, uh, the city and county this year actually increased the budget an amount to be utilized just for the purpose of enticing bigger tournaments to come in here. Uh, two and three day long tournaments that attract 100 plus teams, just like we had this weekend, because uh, the, uh, the amount it puts back in our community from the sales tax, uh, the, the way it helps the businesses, it's huge. You can't, uh, we've actually done some of the numbers, but uh, I want to say the economic impact, uh, well, I, it, it, it's, it's, it was for about three or $400,000 worth of economic impact just for this one tournament we had. So um, uh, the county increased its amount and the city of Dublin increased their amount just for the purpose of enticing and marketing our park to these mega tournaments. So you'll probably start seeing uh, four or five of the same size you saw this weekend every year there. So. And let's brag on Danny just a minute. We got great employees with the recreation department, but uh, we're lucky to have a man of Danny Jones caliber running well, it. He, he, um, he had the foresight and he kind of came in and, um, and shepherded it through the uh, through the years and uh, to where it's at now. So yes, he um, he led the individuals and uh, uh, it's a uh, it's a testament to the hard work and vision he had.